Hey what's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to today's video. I just moved back to London from Toronto and I spent the last four months in venture capital. And I've been wanting to make this videos for a bit because I realized there are many things that I wish I knew before going to venture and there were just not many resources or opportunities out there on the internet. So I wanted to make this video to share some of the learnings I had the past four months and see and hopefully by the end of this video you will have a better understanding of whether adventure is for you or not so before i get started i think it's helpful for me to give a little explanation on what venture capital really is and where it operates within and you can think of it as like a form of investing so in investing there's two kinds of investing the public market investing where you have the asset management you have the hedge funds that are trading stocks and securities and there's the private market investing where you have the private equity buying out and establish mature businesses. You have the growth equity that are investing in hybrid growth startups that are about to go public. And you have the early stage investors, which are the venture capitalists, where we invest in early stage companies with two founders in a deck with a minimal viable product or just a like a company that is growing a lot and it's about to reach part of the market fit. So that's what we kind of categorize what venture capital is about. And now let's get into the meat. First thing first, I like to ask myself a very fundamental question, no matter what industry it is, which is like, what makes you the best person in that field? Like what makes you, what makes the best venture capital investors? So. For me, it really boils down to two things, access and picking. So access is having access to high quality deal flows, having access to allocation room for best, for great startups. And picking, it's more about um, how in depth your due diligence look like and how do you determine which are the best startups, which are the great startups, which are the good startups. And there's no shortcuts to this. You basically just have to go do by experience if you have gone through hundreds and thousands of landing pages and products and meeting founders, you develop a perspective seeing what works, what is good, what is great, and what is the best. Simply by one out of 10 startups, one out of 100 startups, one of 1,000 startups, as easy as that. So the second thing I wanted to touch upon is this whole cliche idea about your network is your net worth. It plays out to be super true in venture to a great extent than any other industries. And, but I oftentimes are very confused why what that means. So let me break this down for you. So let's say you are a fund that invests in C stage. So there, uh, there are gonna be stages like pre-seed that is before you, and there's gonna be series A that is after you. So you need to great, form great relationships with people who invest in before you. So the accelerators, the pre-seed funds, uh, the angels, so that you have a great access to high quality deals. And you need to form great relationships with people who are investing after you, the series A investors, because your portfolios one day are going to graduate or going to raise the next round. And having these relationships to be leveraged can be a huge value add to startups, to start yeah your portfolios. Um, just basically making these introductions saying you should talk to this startup, you should talk to this investor, and this is huge for startups who are looking to raise the Series A or the Series B or, or going for it. And there are also the vertical, where on the top you have angel investors who are individuals who might have like a little syndicate. Um, and they are great references because they are usually creators or executives or VPs at big companies or successful startups who have money spare to invest. And they are great references for you to validate the market, validate the problem, validate the founding team. And on the bottom, you have the big company with like team, with like a corporate development team. So these are like the strategic investors, corporate development team that maybe one day your portfolios want to and to form a partnership with these corporate companies or it might even want to exit to these corporate companies that making those introductions are also super important ads in i want to talk to shopify i want to talk to coinbase i want to talk to ftx so having kind of four 
four four ways of relationship is like how I usually think about VC, and most importantly, is within yourself, within themselves. Like like C stage share a lot of deals with other C stage VC, um, for the sake of having greater access to deals. So I w- I can come up, I can come across a company I really like it, and I actually would like to share that with another C stage investing firm. So it's 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 if you think about it, it's like not very it's get competitive, but at the same time, like you're very transparent or you're selectively transparent with your competitors on like what kind of deals are you looking at because they are looking for to have other C stage funds to reciprocate and share deals with them as well. So that's how I think about like the whole idea of your network is your net worth kind of play out in real terms. And the third point that I want to talk about is the whole idea of sourcing. <laughs> um, there are many ways a company can source. Every every company does it a little differently, and sourcing is a huge is a huge responsibility for junior VCs. And let me like. Like the way I think about it, it's like I I think of it in three ways. So the first one is events, the second one is network, and the third one is tools. So events is basically you can think of it like the the collision, the conferences, the East Denver, Toronto, whatever it is, and it gets people together, gets founders together, and this is a great place for you to scout, talk to. And make your appearance in front of founders and founders in front of VCs.、Um, so it's a lot of mingling, a lot of networking. Sometimes they're great food. It's like, yeah, it's like it's like it's like it's like a very unique thing to VC. And the second thing is network. So network ties back to begin to the earlier point where you talk to your accelerators for deal flows.、Um, you check Y Combinators. You check Tech Stars. You check. New trip accelerators, like all these kind of stuff, to get us to get to get as much start to get to to come across as much startups as possible, and then you would kind of make your judgment on like how much defense, like what you're looking for, which one to move forward to first meeting, and things like that. And the third one is tools. Um, I think it's increasingly more fu- more more familiar because the power of LinkedIn and Twitter are just exceptional. So if you go on LinkedIn, you can search ex employees. X Stripe, X Uber, X Airbnb to find these people who are working on new companies, and you can also search people who are working in stealth.、Um, they're also super great, effective ways to find these founders.、Um, and Twitter, it's like, it's like I don't know if it's like a. I think at least for today, as it's as a day in twenty twenty two, like a lot of founders are on Twitter,、um, especially the younger ones. So. You can easily find a bunch of founders by just looking at one founder and seeing who they follow or like who follows them, and see who engages with these people and find a network of founders that you can potentially talk to or invest. So that's how I describe what sourcing is about, and yeah, like it's like I feel like it's like a very underrated part of VC, and yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So the fourth thing I wanted to talk about is that a venture deal. Starts when it closes. So what I mean by this is like most of the work you do, or most of your responsibilities, or your partner's responsibilities, is actually helping founders rather than investing. The process of investing is only the first half of things, and the real meat it's really about after you are on their cap table or their. Basically, yeah. You know, once you 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 have finan you financially in- incentivized to help these companies to、like, succeed, then you would need to add value. You know, like, you would need to have brainstorming sessions with them. You would start into going to these board meetings. You would need to help them fundraise, make introductions, and this is like the most exciting part about VC. Like I feel like the most exciting part of VC is not. Be on the frontier of like emerging technology. I think the most exciting about VC is really working alongside with founders and seeing how they go from zero to one and helping them as much as much as possible. That's like that's like a very that's like a very interesting sort of like like mindset shift for me as I go through this process. So the last thing I wanted to wrap this up with is is that every venture fund operates differently in their own way. 
So what I mean by this is like, it's some VC funds are structured where they have a dedicated research team researching on a niche focused sub subject matter. Maybe some VC firms have their own sort of partnership and content team to help them scale and gain publicity. Some VC firms have their own platform teams or people called founder success team where they're dedicated to helping founders uh, with the operational, with recruiting, with fundraising, with um, brainstorming, with going to market and strategy. So understanding these differences and understanding what role you're getting yourself into, it's so important if you're thinking about pursuing VC full time. So this concludes today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider like and subscribe. And if you want to see more venture, finance, entrepreneurship related videos, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.